Hi, this is James with Understand Your Mac, and for this tutorial we're going to talk about iWeb and getting started with iWeb. This is uh, going to be a multi-part tutorial, but this will be the first part where we can start at the beginning and work our way through it. And iWeb is, is one of those applications that I find as people dig into it, it's much more powerful than they realize. They think it's just a template-based web application. It's really not. It's what we call theme-based, which means it's very flexible. So I'm going to go ahead and launch iWeb. I'll go to Go and choose Applications here. Let me give it a double click. And when iWeb launches, we're met with this theme browser right here. And we can see all the themes that we have over on the left. We can even pare them down some. So I'm in version iWeb 3. It shows we have two new themes. Version 2 shows all these themes. And um, so if we had a particular version we just wanted to check out, we can do it that way. I'm going to keep it at all. And to start off, I'm going to show you a couple things with a theme that I usually wouldn't use, but it's a perfect example for this, which is comic book. I'm going to go ahead and choose the welcome theme on comic book. And it brings our page up here. And over here, I already have that open. I'm going to go ahead and close it and open again is the inspector. And you'll notice the inspector is kind of set up in, in an interesting way. It starts off with kind of global ideas, and then it gets more and more specific. So I'm going to click on the page inspector, and it gives me a couple of options. I could not list. You can see welcome is listed right here because that's the page name here. If I uncheck that, welcome disappears. So I can have nested pages that nobody will know about. I can also tell it not to display the navigation bar, but in this case I want to do that. I can change the page name right here. So I can go over here to layout. One of the cool things I can do in page background is go and choose none. So you can see how the page just disappeared. Let me bring it back real quick. Image fill. This is our page. You can see the white. It's even got the little torn paper down here. But I can go over here and choose none. And there's no background at all. So it looks like these graphics here are just floating. So that's one thing we can play with. We can also do a color fill. So I could choose a different color if I wanted for that page. That's probably not something I would do, but uh, we can. Let me close that. We can also do a gradient fill. So you can see it starts off with the white and it's getting grayer. And we can adjust our gradient right there, move it around, and choose different colors if we want. Over here at the color picker. So that's getting a little more interesting. We could do that. I could also do an image fill if I wanted. If I had an image I wanted to add in here. And a tinted image fill as well, um, which means it would give it a special color. But for me, I would leave this one, this particular theme blank. Click on the bottom of the page here, get rid of that extra graphic. And now you have something that's much different than most people will use with iWeb just right there. So you can see already the flexibility of iWeb. And when I was talking earlier about the difference between a theme-based application versus a template-based application, here's what I mean. A theme-based application, we can just grab that, we can move it around. And it's almost like having a web design program that's made of silly putty. We can just play around with it just like that. And template-based applications don't give you that flexibility. So that's one of the really cool things about iWeb. Not only is it ridiculously easy to use, but it's very, very flexible. So if I want to change this text, for instance, I could just double click and say and there you go. What you see is what you get. You know, it's a, what you would expect from an Apple program. You just click and make your changes and you're done. So I'm going to move over to a different template for a moment and um, start showing some other things that we can do with iWeb. Okay, so I'm back at the template chooser and I'm going to choose just the white template here, which is a pretty basic one, but it's going to show us exactly what iWeb can do very simply. And um, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to launch iPhoto real quick so we can talk about, oh, let's get rid of that. I'll just grab this photo right here. 
and drag it to my desktop. And you remember back here we had image fill. I'm going to go ahead and choose that image that I just grabbed out of iPhoto. And so now we have that image as the back of the page right here. And you can see how that works. We can also do the tinted image, which lets me add a special tint to it. In this case, it's tinting gray, as you can see. But we can click right there, and we can adjust it around and choose our different color if we want. And we can also drag the slider down here and make the colors richer if we'd like. So we have a lot of flexibility there. In this case, I'm just going to go with none again because we're showing some other things. Okay, so I'm going to liven up this website a little bit. Um, and the way I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this photo over and drop it in there. And you can see that the photo has some reflection there that Apple's put in automatically. And we'll talk about how we can change that later, either by making it stronger or weaker, or just get rid of it by adjusting our photos. And this image really goes well with this theme. And you can see it fits in with the gray. And Apple's done a, a great job of making a very minimalist theme that will work with everything. But I want to add some colors to it. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on Safari 4 here. And I'm going to go to a place out at Adobe's website called Cooler. And the address is K-U-L-E-R dot Adobe dot com. And you can find out more about Cooler. You can get the link if you forget it here um, just by going to my screencast notes at www.understandyourmac.com. And what Cooler is, is Cooler is just a website that has a bunch of color combinations or color sets that people put together. And they're really cool. If you're somebody like me who has bad luck putting colors together and just doesn't have a clue, um, this is a godsend. So, like, we can click on Haunt here. And you can already see how different it looks, um, how these colors go together. Cooler will require Flash, so if you don't have Flash installed on your computer, or on your browser, I should say, it's going to request it, but that's okay. It'll be easy to install. Um, here's another interesting one. I don't think that's nearly as interesting, though. I don't like that brown. So I'm going to go back to Haunt. And then what I'm going to do is we'll bring iWeb up. I'm going to have to make it smaller because it just I'm just limited on screen real estate here. And click on the chevron and choose inspector. There's my text inspector. If I click and highlight this text, you can see that, that it's gray. But I can click on there, and it brings up the color wheel here. I click on the magnifying glass, and I can go right there if I want. And it gives me that different tone. So it's changed to this gray that we were showing here versus the gray it had. So let me click right there, and you can see the difference. So this is a little more of a warmer gray if we want. Or I'll move this over a little bit more. And let's go for that brown, which really stands out. Highlight our text first. Magnifying glass. And there's that kind of, I guess maybe I'll call it an ochre color. Let's go ahead and make this bigger again. So you can see how that works. Now, one thing we could do, if we just want to grab that whole color set, I can just grab this and drag it right down here into my little palette holder. And it takes a little adjusting, as you can tell. Um, but I'm just going to grab this whole set real quick. 